I mean, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> So, I know we're pretty deep into January right now, but I've not had a chance to speak to you guys, so I'm gonna do it anyway. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys had the happiest of holidays, and if you've set out to do anything in 2024, I hope you guys achieve everything. For me, as I'm sure you've probably seen recently, the most important thing is health, so I'm gonna wish you and your loved ones the best of health possible throughout the remainder of this year. Now, on that note, you've probably noticed if you follow me over on Twitter or X or whatever it's called itself nowadays that I've been sick recently, and it is what you think it is, and it's way, way worse than what I ever thought it would be. It knocked me on my back for about seven days straight. <laughs> I'm feeling good now. I'm absolutely fine. I'm doing great, but I've got a little bit of, like, congestion going on, which you can probably hear, so for the next few videos, you're probably going to hear that, so I apologize in advance, but... I am doing good guys i hope you guys are all doing great so yeah we're back <laughs> now it turns out being sick isn't all that bad because i actually have a huge list of things that i do want to get to and <laughs> i thought considering this is the first video of 2024 for the channel then why not clear the sinuses with some horror so that's what we're gonna do welcome everyone to the descent Experience The Descent, a first-person psychological horror walking sim set in the late 19th century in the coal mining town of Rockwell Mine. Immerse yourself in the grueling atmosphere of a miner's environment and their unsettling encounters deep within the treacherous mines. Assume the role of an investigator who returns to this hometown after journalism school to unveil its mysteries. You must navigate the perilous mines document your investigation with a camera, solve the mysteries behind the disappearances, and overcome obstacles while evading the dangers lurking within. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do this. People going missing under weird circumstances, you gotta ask questions, right? Did you see the date on that too? It said 1951. And no doubt we're, <laughs> we're going to the mine completely alone. In the dead of night, too. Oh, look at all those signs. <gasps> We're just going to ignore every single one of them. All right, here we go. Flashlight, yeah, look at that. <laughs> what do we roll up in? It's the beat up pickup truck. Okay. Diary updated. Tab to check. Okay, notebook, private eye investigations. Look around the area to find a tool to unlock the entrance gate. Got it. Paranormal investigations version. Can we? Okay, so I can manipulate it with that. Can't really do anything else. Okay. It is so dark. What we got going on over here? What's this? Rockwell mine entrance. So we got to find something to, to bust the gate open with then? Oh, okay, it's got a lock on it. Look at all these people. Oh, you can see them too. John Bolton, age 25. Last seen 1950. Yeah, look at the dates on this. Circumstances of disappearance. Wait, can we? There we go. I guess I'm going to have to like, manipulate that a little bit. He has never returned from the mine and our authorities have not been able to locate him since. Help us find John Bolton, share this poster with friends and family, spread the word. Got another one there. John Patterson, 34. Experienced miner was last seen entering the abandoned Rockwell mine. Fit October 15th. Ooh, what's that sound? It's part of a routine mining shift. Whoever's not returned from the mine despite extensive search efforts. Yeah, so they're just going missing then, and then nobody's hearing anything about what happened. Just super, super strange. 
Emma Wilson, age 16. Celebrating a birthday with last seen entering the abandoned mine with a father and a group of miners. Celebration took an unexpected turn when Emma did not return. Despite extensive search. Yeah, they're just they're just going missing and no one can explain why. No wonder we're it investigating this then. I do want to say, guys, <laughs> with that, like my brain isn't working at the best of times, but because I'm fried right now. <laughs> If I make any weird noises from being scared or anything like that, or if I mess something up that I'm reading, please, just <laughs> have patience with me. I promise I'll get there. So what are we looking for then? Like a, a sledgehammer or something? To bust the uh, the lock? Oh, I can already tell how this is going to go. I'm looking one way. I can hear something behind me. There's going to be like footsteps or something. A broken car here. Control to crouch, okay? Okay. And this. Oh, I half expected something to fall out then. Some bolt cutters. That'll do it. And where are they then? There we go. Okay. Useful for breaking old worn down locks. That we can do. I know I say this a lot, like whenever we find ourselves in this situation, but like in terms of exploring abandoned places, it's probably one of the worst to explore. I don't an old abandoned mine. You guys all heard that, right? There was footsteps to my left. But there's something about mines that I genuinely love. There's something really, really cool about them. Right, let's snap this off. There we go. Door's been unlocked. Welcome to hell. <laughs> let's do this. All right, what we got? Wait, can I actually investigate? Okay, so it's just going to say on the right side there. Investigate the mine. Got it. thought for a split second that I heard breathing. <laughs> I squinted my eyes. I was like, wait, <laughs> there's no way. Not this early on. Look at that. This whole bridge is just completely splintered. What are the chances that this thing starts breaking too? Oh. Yep, I knew. Oh, it didn't go down. Okay. Can we? Okay, we can't actually jump either. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Snap straight through it. But yeah, there really is something cool about mines. They're terrifying. The best thing to come out of the coal mine is a miner. I suppose that's true. You don't want to lose anyone down there. And I suppose it's really easy to do that too. It's probably a ridiculously bad, like, dangerous job. So many things can go wrong down in a mine. Not to mention, like, the hazards that are already there. But, like... The gases, I guess, like, I guess you could hit, like, veins and things, or, like, collapses, or... Didn't they used to use specific birds? I can't remember what bird it is, because <laughs> you guys already know. I'm gonna get this so wrong now. But they, I'm sure they used to use a bird down in mines as, like, an early detection method. When there was, like, gas released in there. Could you imagine if we looked in these sluice boxes and there was just a shitload of gold? <laughs> we would grab that and be gone. <laughs> we solved it. They were after the gold. We press this? No? That's cool. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that they uh, they use birds as an early detection method for for gases that would be in the uh, in the area where they were- Oh my god! No! Oh! Of course, of course. That's the first thing that I find. Poor little thing. Can't get in. My heart is thumping right now. <laughs> Thought we'd jump into this to help clear the sinuses. <laughs> if you hear a massive slam, it's my head hitting the desk, guys. I am out cold. But we're going to keep it rolling. This episode or this video turns out to be like four hours long. I expect you guys to stick it through with me, okay, until I come round. What's this? Okay, so the news today, breaking news. Oh, what is that sound? Haunted legends emerge from abandoned mine. What? Okay, let's do that. 
In a twist of the eerie and unexplained, the abandoned Rockwell mine has revealed a tapestry of haunted legends, shrouding its dark history in enigmatic tales and unsettling whispers. As more miners delved into the mine's passage, they found themselves immersed in a world where folklore and superstitions intertwine with reality. The once dismissed stories of restless spirits and haunted tunnels have taken on an unsettling reality. So that's what we're dealing with then. We're dealing with spirits of the people that were lost down there. Oh, what is that sound? As the investigation into the mine's haunted history continues, it's clear that the community is struggling to reconcile the legends with their newfound presence. Questions arise. Are these encounters a manifestation of long buried traumas? Or is there something more sinister at play? As the boundaries between the living and the supernatural blur within the Rockwell mine, the search for answers intensifies, leaving the community to ponder the unsettling truths that may lie within the ominous place. Oh, this ominous place. Wow. Oh, listen to that behind me, too. Is that like residual stuff happening? Or is it just because this place is like dilapidated and slowly breaking down? I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it down to that. I can barely see anything. We can't get in there, right? Nope. There was a hell of like a bang down here a second ago. I don't want to go back over this way. That's where the Duggo is. There's no way in there either. We'll try this. Nope. It's completely sealed off. So is it just trial and error at this point then? There was nothing like... Yeah, there was a door there behind the sluice box. Whoa. Was that always open? Oh, no. I heard footsteps running behind me then. What's this? Okay, what we got? Government shuts down Rockwell Mine amidst growing death toll and missing miners. March 4th, 1951. In a long overdue action, the government has made the decision to close... To close... Wow, what was that? I don't know if this place is about to just come tumbling down, but that was, that was loud. Following a series of tragic deaths and the mysterious disappearances of over 100 miners over the past few years. So it is, it's going to be that, isn't it? It's going to be just completely filled with angry spirits. So was the government somehow involved, driven by greed or ulterior motives? As this location is now off limits for the general public with no reopening date for workers in sight. Okay. So yeah, the plot thickens. All right. I'm so scared that I'm going to lift my head up too and there's going to be something there. Yeah, there was some noise that came from over here. Thought that door was open. Oh! That's what it was. Carts moved. Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello? If there's any spirits here, I don't mean any disrespect. I'm still a little bit sick. Take it easy, please. <laughs> I'm begging you guys. Listen to that wind. What's this? It's nobody's fault, but the inevitable buildup of methane in the mine. It's like a ticking time bomb. The readings have gone off the charts. Everyone is told that their equipment is fine and they assure us it will dissipate. So they encourage us to keep working. They provide an excuse about magnetic interference, but I can't shake the feeling that as we descend deeper into the mine, we might be disrupting some kind of signal. But what if I'm wrong and it takes just one spark to erase us from existence? Should I raise these concerns, Michael? You should absolutely raise concerns like that, Michael. Ooh. You know, like I was saying before about like abandoned mines might be a cool spot. <laughs> I'm not so sure anymore. Oh. The old wood moving around and the, the rusty metal swinging in the breeze. <laughs> Those noises are just so chilling. 
Hello? What killed that dog? That's on the outside too. That's not... That's not in here. That sounded like nails. Oh, this is so messed up. Oh, I'm getting chills. What's this? Oh, there's so much reading. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ten miners trapped in abandoned mine. Ten miners are facing challenging situations. They remain trapped deep within an abandoned... Oh, my fuck! Oh! I don't even want to come out of this now. Nope, we're reading this. Nope, nope. That scared the shit out of me then. I don't know what that was, but that was right behind me, whatever it... Like, something fell. <laughs> Ten miners are facing a challenging situation as they remain trapped deep within a mine while carrying out their routine duties. These seasoned professionals, each with extensive experience in the mining industry, ventured into the Rockwell mine, clad in their typical work attire armed with the mining equipment. As they delve deeper into the mine's intricate tunnels their mission took an unexpected turn when they encountered a series of obstacles and blockages could you imagine that like even if you are super super seasoned in terms of like being able to, to do this god that's so loud i don't think i i don't think i could do that like the claustrophobia alone would be too much for me to take the once familiar passageways became unrecognizable and their attempts to find their way back to the surface proved fruitless the miners found themselves trapped in the dark and unforgiving depths of the mine. Oh, and, and limited light, too. Communication with the trapped miners was severed, prompting concerns from their colleagues. Search and rescue teams, as well as local authorities, hurried to the scene. Oh, don't, 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 please. John Patterson, the owner of the Rockwell Mining Company, is working tirelessly with the authorities to unlock the mine and ensure the miners' safe return. Yeah, they're, they're long gone. Those guys are long gone. Can we... I can't actually go down with that I guess we can see the bottom there hours turn into days the mystery shrine and the rock one mine continues community eagerly awaiting their safe return yeah something's telling me they're not they're not coming back what made that sound was it this no was it that was one hell of a bang though Oh, that's upstairs. Oh, no, no, no. What's that? It's like something flicking a light switch. Oh, the door's closed. No! I'm going to try the door. Ooh. Yeah, no. We're completely trapped. We're in it now. <laughs> We're gonna get all the evidence. We're gonna find out what's going on. What fell? Oh, was it these things? No, wait. Oh. Something just turned. I just heard like a, a latch to. There is a little girl at the bottom of the stairs just peeking at me around the corner. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think it gets more nightmare fuel than that. Oh my god! I saw her like through the crack too, like on this bit here. Just sprinting off. Oh wait, are you the are you the little girl that went missing on, on a birthday? Oh, I can hear like feet slapping on the wood. Tell me that isn't out of every single horror movie you've ever seen. Right before some crazy shit happens. breathing I can legit hear breathing right here oh 
Oh. I've got chills. Where's it coming from? Okay. This is so messed up. Okay, I'm just gonna take a second because I've got pins and needles everywhere right now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I knew we were gonna get into some crazy nonsense because we always do with this type of stuff. But <laughs> you know, oh my god. Remember before how I was saying, well, let's play something to clear the sinuses. My sinuses are extremely clear, guys. Can we go home now? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just heard... I just heard what I think was a kid saying, help us? Whispering? Investigate the rock or mine. Back this way, or...? I'm gonna go back down to this door at the end. There was, there's one upstairs too. Oh. Nope. Yeah, that wind kicking up is making everything worse. So, so much worse. Because I feel like when that wind kicks up, it's gonna mask something running in. I'm not supposed to be going that way, right? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be going this way. Alright, let's close this off. That way I know I closed it all up. Close this. I'm getting amnesia vibes from that. I know it's not exactly the same, but... Watch your step. Can we... Oh, there we go. Am I missing some stuff? Yeah, I think we're missing some stuff. So this was the other side of it. Yeah, yeah. I could see this from the uh, from the stairs. All right, let's just take our time. This is so messed up. Oh no. Okay, I can't pick that up. What's this? I and a team of fellow workers ventured deeper into the mine. Their task was to initiate a controlled explosion in a new section of rock. As per instructions, I remained behind, being the newcomer to the team. And about 10 minutes later, I heard the deafening sound of explosions. When the rescuers finally reached the miners, they discovered that only Harry Dogold had survived. However, he was not the same person he once was. Something had gone horribly wrong in those depths. Oh, listen to that. Is that a door opening? I can't help but wish there was something I could have done for them. John. Is that John we saw before? Nope. Oh, if I see a face up there. Wasn't there something else here too? Like, yeah, this. Sabotage. Ooh. I'm just listening out because something's changed. <laughs> Sabotaged on Earth. A sinister plot in the abandoned mine. In a shocking turn of events, evidence of deliberate tampering with the infrastructure of the abandoned Rockwell mine has come to light, leaving a community baffled and questioning the motives behind the sinister act. There's something breathing behind me. Listen. That's not me. <laughs> okay, what does he say? This act of sabotage raises critical questions. Who would go to such lengths to endanger the lives of miners? What ulterior motives lie behind the calculated act? Oh, I hate this. <laughs> Rescue teams and local authorities are now on high alert. Oh, what was that? Wait, is that me? That sounds like it's right here. Yep, that wasn't me. Are the spirits leading me to this to, to unearth what's happened? Oh, I don't want to go in there. I know I'm going to have to. Right, what are we looking for? We're we looking for something to get this going. It's got to be. Can't open that. 
Is that a ladder there? Oh, shit. That's a ladder. There's nothing in there. No faces against the window. There was nothing in here, right? Listen to that wind. Couldn't have been a nice still night. I don't know if that would have been worse, though, in all honesty with you guys. <laughs> if they, everything is just really calm and then you could just hear breathing. Disembodied voices and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'd like that. All right, come on. Nothing better be at the top of this. Don't you do it. Don't you come charging out of the darkness, please. Okay, we're all right. What are we working with? What have we got? Another set of ladders to climb. Let's go. See anything? Some boxes and stuff. Can hear breathing again. I think the spirits of the miners are everywhere in here. Nothing. There we go. That's what we're looking for for the generator. I think we only needed one. Nothing else. All right, what does this say? An unforeseen collapse of the mine's doors left the miners in that section with no means of escape. A bold and daring rescue mission was swiftly organized, but unexpected complications emerged, posing additional threats to both the rescuers and trapped miners. One of our fellow miners ventured back inside the block section, aiming to reach Jack, who was deeper in the mine. But then another collapse occurred. They didn't make it, and all I witnessed was death. I should have been the one in there. My sanity is slipping away, and if the rescue efforts fail, I question the purpose of it all. Joe. That's so sad. He felt like he should have been the one in there. Oh, look at that. Just knock that off like that. Wait, can we... <laughs> why, why is it doing that? I don't know if you guys are going to recognize this box either. If you do, let me know in the comments. Or at least where you've seen it before. There's nothing in there. Alright, I'll stop. <laughs> so sorry. I know a lot of you guys would have done it too. Alright, we got the fuse. Let's get back down. Oh. <laughs> I'm really, really trying to stay composed, guys. But like... Every time I jump, every time I get freaked out, my body's cramping harder and harder. <laughs> it's so hard not to just be like... Okay, now be... <laughs> what just... There was like a bolt that got turned. Let's put the fuse in. There we go. Fire the generator up. There's no way that's all. Th that's all we get? Oh, shit. <laughs> it wasn't worth doing. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yep. I gotta run. I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to run from something. Leave me alone, spirits. I'm here to help. Oh, shit. You're telling me to get in there, aren't you? Is that because you want me to suffer the same fate? Or you want me to hurry things along and find out what happened to you guys? Oh, shit. I'd really like to go that way. I'd really, really like to go that way. I don't think there's any way in there either. There's no key. Okay. All right, we've got to find the key. Hearing a whole bunch of nonsense over there. Oh, listen to that. Listen. Oh, 
it sounds like miners working like they're shoveling coal or something. Ooh, the light flickered. If I try and pick that up, there's going to be something there, isn't there? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, right. Let's pick this up then. Holy shit. Okay. The miners are falling ill at an alarming rate, with one of them becoming seriously ill to the point of attempting an attack on others today. Wait, what? A pickaxe in the hands of a sick individual can result in significant harm. Fortunately, John, being the largest person in the group by far, managed to subdue him swiftly. The question that looms in our minds is... What's unfolding in the depths of this mine? So there's some kind of sickness going on? Like the mines infecting the minds of the miners? That's a hell of a sentence to say, by the way, when you've got <laughs> a sickness. Hello? Oh, I pissed them off. Oh, no. That was some kind of residual spirit or something just shoveling away I come along and piss him off can we not take the, the lanterns or something whoa why is there a Geiger counter what oh my god oh my god no 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 <laughs> Shit. no 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 stop oh there's ladders there too I didn't see those Okay, we need to find a key then. Was it this that got closed? Yep, okay, it was that that got closed. Can't go that way. There's no key on the hook. Have I missed something? Probably. <laughs> That's okay. I'll go around again in this absolutely horrific mine. Retrace my- oh shit. Wait, is that flashing? Oh, that's flashing. Oh, I don't want to go in there. I forgot I could do that. I can zoom in with, <laughs> like, a focus. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. I kind of expected that. And it was you that was making all the noise, too. Okay, right, let's see. The miners' communication equipment unexpectedly malfunctions, resulting in confusion and a breakdown in coordination during what should have been a routine operation. As a consequence, Tom faces blame for the explosion, as he forgot to properly vent the methane lines, which ultimately led to the catastrophic collapse. So, it was on Tom then? There's definitely more at play. It's not as simple as somebody making a mistake. Are we writing all this down too? Like, we are a journalist. We should be taking all those things with us. I keep putting them back. <laughs> this way then, I guess. Yeah, we gotta go up there. Please stop doing that. Oh, I thought that was a helmet. Something's going to grab me, I know it. Oh, I'm going to call it now. Okay. So is this just a spot where they just relax or something? I'm going to have a look over here first because I saw that piece of paper that was over there. If any of you guys see anything that I'm missing, let <laughs> me know in the comments. There's no doubt that I have. Is our friend still there? No? Okay. Alright, what's this? Oh, shit! Oh, that was so fast, too! In this twisted realm, death seems like the only escape from this living nightmare. I can feel the darkness closing in. And I'm no longer sure if there's any way back to the world of the living. I hope you forgive me for my sins, Robert. Was that who we just saw? I can still hear somebody flicking a switch. Anybody in there? Is 
See, the problem with this, though, I've got a feeling when I do that, something's going to pop up right here. It's like the perfect opportunity for a stupid jump scare. How do I get over that side, though? Is it... Oh, it's the way we went before. So have I got to go back round now? So basically, retrace our steps through the first part and then back round through the stairs. Through the doors that were closed. So let me double check this, make sure it's not opening up. Yeah. Yeah, we still need this key. Okay. I can sprint a little bit, but <laughs> it's not filling me with confidence because... If anything comes after me at the speed that that thing was moving at a second ago, I am so done. And that generator is so loud as well. That and the wind are just masking everything. Alright, let's see what nightmares are up here. There is another door down there that we haven't been through yet, but I'm guessing once we go up here, something's going to happen where we go through that. It's where they all ate. All right, here we go. Our radios have become frustratingly unreliable below a certain depth. Oh, listen to that. That's like rope. Well, it's like the wood creaking at the same time. Leaving us feeling increasingly isolated down here. The situation has escalated into arguments as we persistently voice our concerns. Our superiors, however, remain unyieldingly insistent that everything is functioning properly or perfectly. If that's the case... Then why do we continue to lose communication as we venture deeper into the mine? Because they want to give you the illusion that everything's fine. What does that say? Paul Miner's prayer. Each day, as we rise... I wonder if that's actually a real thing. If anybody has family members that have done this line of work, or even if you do, I guess. Let me know. Can we check these? Can't open any of that. That sound is... Ooh. Is that the radio? There's a hat. Oh, I don't want to stick my face up against that. My heart rate is going crazy right now. Okay, let's just make sure we've checked everywhere. Can't open the box. Miners are turning on each other. In a split second, someone appears perfectly fine, and the next moment, they're launching surprise attacks from behind. This has been happening at an alarming rate. Authorities claim it's due to excessive drinking, and they warn of potential termination if this continues. I don't understand. They've never fought each other, even when intoxicated, Daniel. So everybody's turning on each other then. It's trying to give us an idea that... That the claustrophobic feeling and, like, the, the infection or whatever it was down there that we read about before... Just, ooh, everything is just going to shit. As if it wasn't bad enough. Yeah, I can't open any of this. Yeah, we definitely can't get in there. Where are we gonna go? Oh, listen! You can hear something eating. That's... That's so sad. That was cheap. Oh, what was that? And it's not open, open there either. There it is. Oh, sh oh my. Okay, okay. Can we go in now? What 
Oh, I thought we were going to get rushed by whatever those things were. I mean, I know what they were. There's like a... Gr what was that sound? There's like a weird green glow. Is that like the infection or are they not what I think they are? Oh, shit. Look at that. He's got like a... Like an aura around him or something. I'm just going to try this door. What was that movie called where... There was like a killer in the mines. And it was actually Jensen Eccles. It was... What was it? I remember watching it. And I couldn't believe it was like... It was the Dean in the mines that's causing mayhem. If anybody knows the name of that, let me know. Either that or I'm still really feverish. Do I go up there? I've got to, right? As much as I don't want to, it's probably something that I should do. Oh, you're going to swing at me with that axe when I get to the top of this. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's gone. Oh, shit! Oh, I nearly fell off the back there. I'm not going out there yet. Hold on. I thought that is... That's not a key, right? No. It's just something... Yeah, okay. Oh, that made my right arm go numb. I think I might be having a heart attack. <laughs> this way? Oh, this looks safe. Oh, yeah. This rickety piece of shit roof. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're falling through this. And we're I'm going to get all the diseases. Come on. Easy does it. That's a hell of a view. I can still hear that, like, weird Geiger counter sound. I'm so sorry if this is dark for you guys. There's times where I'm having to squint too. I'll definitely brighten things up like I always try and do, but... Oh, don't you dare. I was going to say that would have been extra cheap. Can we go through there? No, nope, that's a hell of a drop down there. Where am I supposed to go? Is it this way? Work around that side, I guess. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. There's nothing on this side. Is that another one? Just frozen in position. They've all got, like, different clothing on, too. I don't know if that's supposed to be intended or if it's intentional. Like, some of them have, like, a green color to them. What is that sound? What's squeaking? I fall through this, and I'm so done. I'm joining them. Oh. There's another house over there. Or whatever that is. Like a cabin or something? Is that the mine? Like another entrance to it? But yeah, some of them have got like... Green. The the one we just saw with the, the mask and the axe. Was like a yellow. And this guy... Oh my fuck! Oh shit! Oh, there's no way. There's no way. I'm just going to say this right now. I would never do this. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. There's the key. Of course, somebody left it there. Okay, breathe. I'm just going to take a second. <laughs> okay. It's a nightmarish existence down here, and the line between reality and the supernatural has blurred beyond recognition. 
As I dangle from this rope, I can't bear the torment any longer. The relentless horrors, the gruesome killings, and the haunting visions have pushed me to the brink. I love you all, but I can't take it anymore, Matthew. That's so, so sad. I don't want to turn around, Matthew, just in case. Oh, yep, yep. Something happened, and I'm glad... We gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go. I just want to see what happens if he comes here. Oh, look at his face. Look at him. All right, go, 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 go. Oh, shit, no. Is that you, Matthew? I guess I've got to get round into that room over there. All right, we're going. Go. Oh, you're going to be stood there. There we go. Use it. Oh, get in, please. Thank you. Close. I mean, they're spirits. Why am I, why am I worried about closing the door? Okay, before we read that, is there like a shotgun with salt or something we can put in there? I'm, I'm hoping that <laughs> that's something that could work. I don't know for sure. Okay, we got another key. That might be for the lift. That made me jump too. That's a silly sound. I'm guessing we can go out that way as well. Can we do that? Nope. Okay, one way in, one way out. Got it. Nothing here. Can't open any of this. And is this where we... Yeah, big red switch. Yep. That's so incredibly loud. Okay, what we got? No objectives? Deep inside the mine, there's an unsettling restlessness among the workers. Every time they work on the deeper mine floors, they return with erratic and aggressive behavior. It's as if the pressure deep down is getting to them, but the exact cause remains a mystery. This is a phenomenon unlike anything I've witnessed in my lifetime, David. All right, what's this one say? We've been witnessing an unusual spike in cave-ins lately, and it's not your typical shifts. Something about them just doesn't sit right. The inspectors have been diligent, assuring us that everything's been double-checked by top-level professionals. I want to believe them. The walls boast extra thick support beams, and in these areas, collapses shouldn't be happening. But they are. I've seen it with my own eyes, and others are echoing the same concerns. It's as if we're disturbing something deep within this place. I can't ignore this any longer. I need to find a way out. This mine just doesn't feel right, Henry. So there's more going on. I mean, it said there was sabotage before. And it was talking about... It was talking about, like, some kind of infection or something. All right, we got to go down. We okay? There we go. Open. Close. Come on. Okay, right. Before we go down there... I'm just gonna, oh! What? Are they watching? There was something in here with me, wasn't there? Oh, no. All right, let's just go. Oh, what's going on? What? Diary updated. Continue investigating the subterranean coal mine. Oh, that smells like infection. Look at that. So the deeper you go, the more it messes with your mind. That's why I got from every bit of evidence that we got up there. 500 feet underground. Could you imagine this? Oh, man. This is so, like... I know what I said before. <laughs> I know. But there... There are just some things that are beyond my comprehension of how bad it could be. And this is one of them. Caution, unprotected mineshaft in this area. 
I was actually watching something not long ago. I know this is a side tangent, but I know some of you guys are interested in this. I was watching something not long ago about somebody that actually explored mines, and he captured evidence on, like, the entrance section that he went into. There was, like, chains that were dangling from the front. And he wasn't, like, a paranormal investigator or anything like that. But he captured evidence where he's just looking through the camera, and as he turns around, just one of these multiple chains, there's, like, 30 of them, just one of them is swinging from right to left for no apparent reason, and it's absolutely chilling. It'll be pretty easy to find as well if you guys are interested in, in finding it. I don't actually know the name, though, so... I'm sure you guys will come across it. Okay, we need a key for that. That's a weird door. Got another one there. Gate 2. Authorized personnel only. Alright, we got to find more keys. They're just laying around the place. The longer that I'm here, the, the more I'm at risk of... Ooh. Oh, that's really, really bright. <laughs> I'm going to try not to focus on the flashing. Is that blood? No, I think it's just water or something. Which way do you go? Right or left? Let's try this way. Oh, that's so dark. Oh. Hello? Shit! No. I thought that thing with the axe was going to start running out. I've just had a horrible thought. If I get... Ch if I get ch chased... In here. Is something breaking through that wall? There's... There's no way out for me if I get run at down here. I'll definitely take that, though. Elevator handle? Our equipment is acting up despite regular maintenance. These unexpected malfunctions have left us in the dark at times, relying... S oh, no. Please tell me that's not a collapse. <laughs> relying solely on our headlights for hours before the, intersect before the intersection lights are restored. Is someone playing pranks on us down here, Ben? Trying not to look at that flashing lights. That hurts my eyes. <laughs> oh, stop, 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 stop. I do not like these massive cracks in the rock like that. I feel like it's just going to cave in at any second. Let's retrace our steps back this way. And then as we came into this, there was a split, right, that we could go right down. Let's try going that way. Yeah, it's back this way to the left and then straight down. Wait. Wait. What's happened? This isn't... Something's changed. Something has definitely changed. That's not what was back there a second ago. Yeah, there's nothing there. I'm pretty sure that's the way we came from. Usually I'm good with stuff like that. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Has it changed? Oh, of course it's changed. Okay, I knew there was some bullshit. Let's keep going this way. I think you guys just heard that too. My voice is going. Oh, no. 
I've definitely set out what I wanted to do, which is clear the sinuses. But at what cost? <laughs> Where is this? Are we... No. No, wait. No way is that just going around in a big circle. I think it did. Okay, we can go back. Don't you dare. We can go back out this way and then... Put the lever in. I guess. I think that's what we're supposed to be doing. Where do we actually place it, though? God, that's so bright. Ooh. This has changed. Hello? <laughs> Don't you dare answer back. Explosives. Oh, is this where that one person said they were hearing things explode from? In the... Oh, wow. Something's just moved to my left just as I was about to read that. <laughs> In the deeper tunnels, eerie and unexplained sounds have been plaguing me at night. And it's starting to take its toll on some of the guys. I've heard these unsettling noises multiple times within just a few hours. However, when I inquire about them, everyone dismisses me as if they can't hear these sounds. It's almost as if some of the noises, or it's almost as if the noises exist only in my mind. How can this be? What's happening down here, Adam? The one thing that I would really love to not be a thing is the flickering. That definitely gives me a headache after a while. Like, I get it, broken equipment and stuff like that, but <laughs> it becomes painful when you keep looking at that. Controlling entities? Something was controlling the miners. They've never posed a threat before. This is impossible. I've known Jack for years and he wouldn't harm a fly, yet he mercilessly pickaxed Brian to death. Or am I seeing things? It has to be something deep within the mine. Something is manipulating them. Their eerie sounds and appearances fading in and out of reality are beginning to unnerve me. Is this all in my mind or am I genuinely going insane? Jo John Wilson. I hope Brian's not around. Oh, that have I got to get this sequence right? I'm going further down there? No. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know what's better here. Oh, wait. Elevator handle? We can't use that to like pry it open or anything? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we put the... The lever in there. And we, I guess we gotta find the fuse before we can go down there, right? Yep, okay, that's what we gotta do. Oh, could you imagine that? Wait, has that actually... Oh, that is like... Actually blocked off now. Okay, so I guess whatever we're trying to find then is here. Alright, let's have a look around. Is the door open now? Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> One weird thing after another. Let's keep it moving. Spirits. I'm just trying to find out what happened. And then I'll let you guys rest. Oh, it's so dark. You would think that knowing we're coming to a mine, <laughs> we would have something with a little bit more light or a, or a backup or something. Is this just looped round? What's going on? Why are we freaking out? Oh. I was just about to say. I bet what I'm looking for is in here. Alright, let's see what you gotta say. First aid kits. Can I not take one of your fuses? If I do that, will that close that door? Actually, you know what? Shit, I can't close it. Alright. see what this says. 
Oh, please, nothing charged me right now while I'm about to read this. I feel relaxed for the first time in a good while. Today was an unforgettable day, one that I'll forever hold close to my heart. You see, it was my birthday, and instead of the usual celebrations, I had something extraordinary in mind. I asked to spend the day with my father, who works at the Rockwell Mine. As we descended into the mine's depths, excitement welled up inside me. The miners, known for their rugged faces and cold stained hands, greeted me with open hearts, turning the dark industrial tunnels into a magical wonderland with their improvised decorations and creative party games. See, that makes it sound like they were like, like one giant family down here. Our time together in the mine was pure joy and camaraderie. These miners, usually tough as nails, revealed their softer sides, sharing stories of bravery and resilience, while we took countless photos to capture the happiness and togetherness that defined this day, Emma Wilson. Emma was the one that went missing, that we saw on the, on the gate out front. That was the 16-year-old. That's so sad. I mean, I mean, all of them going missing is sad, but... Amidst the depths of the earth, our celebrations felt like something out of a storybook. The laughter of miners resonated through the tunnels, creating a symphony of joy that drowned out the surrounding darkness. As I stood there, my heart brimming with contentment, I realized there was no other place I'd rather be. This unique, oh, what is that base building behind me though? This unique and unforgettable birthday celebration deep within Rockwell Mine was a truly remarkable experience. It was, without a doubt, the best way to mark my special day. Warm regards, Emma Wilson. Yeah, there's something going... Oh no. What's this? Family. Is that, is that Emma with her dad? Emma, don't do it. Oh shit, what was that? Please do not like the propane tanks. I can't, I can't interact with anything. I'm freaking out so hard right now. What's this? Father's love, I have no choice. The entrance is blocked and Emma ventured deeper into the mine. It's a risk, but what else can I do if I don't try? Everything was going fine until the explosion fighting brought chaos, and my daughter ran away from us despite my pleas for her to stay close. I will find you, Emma. No! Oh, I thought the propane tanks were about to go up. I can hear something outside. Let's see, have I got to mess with this? No? See that? <gasps> and you're on this side now. Ooh, the mine's collapsing. Oh <gasps> my god! <gasps> Go! Oh, my throat is cooked. Just go. Just go. I think this is the only way we haven't been yet. We gotta... Oh, I see a silhouette there. Look at that. It's like phasing in and out of reality as well. All right, brace yourself, guys. Here we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. There was nothing left behind, right? Like no tools or anything. Oh. I mean, I will say, so far, this has been good. It's a little bit rough around the edges, and, like, the, the only thing that I would say that would need a change is the light flickering, because I don't think a lot of people would like that, but we can't get in there. Okay, we've got to find another key. But other than that, this has been pretty solid. And, like, being in a claustrophobic space like this makes everything worse. Oh, look. It's like a sound cue that comes in as well. When the spirits are around. Okay. 
<laughs> that one was a little bit stupid. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go this way then, because I'm not threatened by that one bit. <laughs> Wait. See, that would have been some shit if I had turned around then and it was right in my face. When I was laughing at it. Let's go back this way. And then left. I think that should be the only spot we haven't seen yet. <laughs> just turned to my left and just saw this thing with like full-blown rigor murt. Sliding away. We find ourselves trapped deep within the mine, and the available oxygen is diminishing rapidly. Despair is creeping over us. Upon a closer examination, it becomes apparent that Wilson resorted to harming his fellow miners to preserve the oxygen, or the precious oxygen. I could hardly believe I would commit such an act. However, my own eyes bear witness to the grim reality. So they saw him do it then, so it's no longer just what they think is going on in their head. With only a few hours remaining, I saw what I saw, and there's no denying it. Unless it is in their head, and that's what drove them insane. Alright, here we go. Let's see what's behind gate one. Switch to the key. Here we go. What is it? I hate that when you can hear it, and then you turn around and nothing's there. Okay, we got another key. Seeking answers. What really caused the explosion? The killings? How could they turn on each other like that? I had no choice. I had to defend my daughter from those who were trying to take her away. I've treated everyone with respect for 30 years, and this is how they react in tough situations. I can't believe it. Something is profoundly wrong. I need to uncover the truth, John. So this- Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That scared me so hard, I turned my flashlight off. Oh, okay. Hold on a second, we're taking a little drink while we're here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I was about to say, this all happened. Well, it was Emma's birthday then, when they were down here. We can't go that way. Wait, actually, let's try this way. Something tells me this is all going to be sealed off. And I think there might have been one more door. Yeah, there was. There was, there was one more door that we had to go through. Oh, I can hear water. I thought I could hear that just for a split second. <laughs> oh, it's a wrap. 100%, guys. <laughs> it's 100% a wrap. There's no way I'm getting through this. Oh, I've got to turn the generator off. Okay. There's gonna be something st There's gonna be something stood over the generator, isn't it? Just twitching. Stood next to it. I know. Can already see it in my mind. Let's turn this off. No? Oh, there we go, okay. So the electricity should be stopped now, which means that shouldn't <laughs> Be death when I walk through this section. Famous last words. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, something's gonna grab me, I know it. Okay, it's not deep. Don't you, don't you do that. That's my footsteps. It's just my footsteps. <laughs> We're okay. Take it easy. What? Oh, there you are. Okay, I was braced for that one. Holy shit, okay. So back the other way. And through whatever the other entrance is around there, okay. I know you guys can hear this. Any minute now, I'm gonna get a voice break and it is gonna be brutal. Okay, it's already open, nice. What is that? Cables? Oh, is that what was electrifying the water? Okay. That's all blocked off. I'm so scared to use that focus <laughs> all the time, just in case something pops up. We got more answers. Is there 
Nothing else? Radiation miners. Oh, I thought something was running up on me then. Deep in the mine, everyone is emerging from the depths radiated, as if they've encountered some sort of nuclear material. The sound is unbearable. But can you hear the sound of radiation without the equipment? I'm losing my mind down here. Whoa! I just stopped for a split second so I could grab a drink and I've just heard an explosion. And this area is opened up too. I think this is where that thing like went straight towards us. Yeah, it was like here. Yeah, this bit. Oh, don't cave in. Don't cave in, please. So where was this telling me to go? We can't go through this way. I... Yeah, listen to that. I really, really hope this flashlight isn't dying either, because I swear that I can see it flickering. Oh! Just caved in. Here we go. Oh my god, what? Oh, f <gasps> that's why I didn't want to happen. What is this? Oh, that's the fuse that we needed. Nice. Okay, can we pick that up? There we go. Cold drafts are appearing in unexpected places, and it's not just from the wind. Some of us suspect there might be hidden passages, even though we're deep underground, which seems impossible. There's only one way in and out, but more people are reporting this strange issue. So we can work our way back around. How are we going to get out, though? Because all of this is now... Collapsed in. I keep thinking I'm seeing faces. Ooh. Another explode. Oh! That was actually really cool. Right, let's make our way back to... <laughs> Where we were before then. I think I've got to turn that generator back on too. Just trying to see if anything's changed. Just trying to <laughs> prepare myself. There's no way I can like <laughs> let my guard down for a second with this. Come on, get that back on. Turn that back on, please. Oh no, shit. All right. We're getting that fuse going again. But the question is, which way was it to the fuse? Was it this way? I think with that cave collapse, we have to go back this way then. Because this is the way we came out, right? Yeah, this is the, uh, like the alternate way we found. So if we follow this, like, down, round to the left, that should take us to the cage where we put the, uh, the lever in. And then all we needed was the, uh, the fuse. Oh. Oh. Did that just show... One of the miners? I think his name was Brian. I'm trying to remember the names. There's so many of them. But it was saying that Brian just went crazy with a, a pickaxe, right? And I think something on the left there hit the one that disappeared in front of us. That was a cool effect, too. Jump scares. <laughs> All right, let's get that fuse in. Do we do it? Don't have to flick anything. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, look at that. We're all staring at me on the way down. Oh no. <laughs> Far underground. You can taste just how old and horrible this would be. All right, what does it say? Continue your investigation and descend deeper. What? A thousand.
thousand feet down. There's just a grave right here. We take the hard hat. So we got more... More entrances. Hearing protection required. Didn't it say there was radiation? And open this. So we need more keys. Storage. Whoa. Storage, gas, gas and mask. Okay, so is that what we need then to get in there? Don't you dare. Alright, I guess we're going this way then. Confined space, authorized personnel only, hard hat area. Watch your step. Oh, that's so dark. That is so incredibly dark down there. Whoa. It's like a green glow as well. Can we... Yeah, there's something going on down there. I'm going to try and open all of these first. Oh, there's a key. Storage room key. Right, I'm going back. Let's see what this says. Evidence has surfaced, revealing that Warden sabotaged our efforts, effectively sealing our fate. As we continued our descent deeper into the mine, we glanced back and witnessed him igniting the gas containers. There's no way that just happened perfectly while I read that. In an instant, a deafening explosion followed and he vanished. Another collapse ensued, leaving us trapped. The question that haunts us is, why would he do such a thing, Benjamin? But it's pointing the finger at multiple people, though. It's not just one person. Like, it's not just led to it being the warden, right? No, we got the key to storage. Let's go in there. I'm so paranoid that someone's going to come sprint. Oh, for that very reason. Oh my... Please. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, there's a note there. Gas can. The end, page one. I've meticulously documented the discoveries within the book, revealing a sinister demonic ritual. Perpe what does that say? Per Perpetually? I have no idea what that word is. <laughs> From the devil himself. Initially, I questioned if this was an elaborate hoax. A cruel ruse meant to ensnare me in these shadowy depths. Yet, as I've delved deeper into the passages, an unsettling narrative unraveled before my eyes, John. Yeah, I've never seen that word before, but revealing a sinister demonic ritual from the devil himself. I mean, it definitely fits. There is a lot of weird and horrible shit happening down here. Another key. Don't turn around. I turned around. <sighs> Can I grab a mask? No. The increasing number of guys going missing is impossible to ignore, and no one can provide any information about the whereabouts. We're instructed to carry on with our work and told they'll be found, but I can't shake the feeling that I might be next. John sought help the other day, which was an unexpected plea, but both he and the one who went with him haven't been seen for days now, Oliver. Why have I got a feeling we're gonna see John in some form or another? <laughs> We got another key though. And we've yet to check down there too. There's nothing in these. A thousand feet down. That's the generator and we've got the uh, the gas can too. Let's just close that. <laughs> what? Gas mask? What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we... Wait, how do we do it? There we go. Oh, that, that is so much worse. I mean, at least you guys can see a little bit better now with that. Look at that, though. <laughs> it can switch it. 
Okay, we'll leave it off until we absolutely need it in case the, uh, the torch runs out or something. Right, let's put the fuel in there. That's it, drink up, and then... Nice. Objectives. It keeps saying we've got objectives, but... I mean, let's go. Oh my god! <laughs> I genuinely might not make it through this. <gasps> oh my god! Can we. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Can we try all of these? Was that John back there? Yeah, look at this green shit. Ooh, okay, that's the gas mask. So we can at least explore this spot now with having all this stuff. Ooh, listen. I see you up there. There's more than one. Look, there's three. All facing the doors. I heard something step to my left there, too. If we switch to this, can we... Can't really make anything out. That is a... That night vision is 100% outlast vibes. <laughs> going. Are you going to stop me going in there? Yeah, let's just close that up. I don't want to go that way anyway. Let's see what's down tunnel B. we got to make them disappear before we go through that section of the cave. The end, page two. The text unveils a horrifying tale, one that speaks of a demon's insatiable thirst for power in our world. A power that can only be attained through the sacrifice of a woman. Oh, it's gonna be Emma Wilson. If this account holds any truth, then the book before me is no mere fiction. It's a tangible link to the cause of the relentless chaos that has besieged us. This mine was never meant to be unearthed, it harbors the ancient demon, a malevolent entity that has lurked in the shadows for untold centuries. And that was by John. Oh, I see you over there. There's no escape for me either, so I, I've got to go head on with that. All right. Let's dance. Oh, look at it. That wasn't the character's heartbeat you heard, that was mine. <laughs> Straight up. You could hear it through the microphone. Are we going this way? Is something about to burst through that? I mean, as unsettling as this is, it actually is really, really cool. Another paper here. Oh no. Please don't. Please go away while I read that. I hate that sound. Oh, okay. Ancient book. I stumbled upon a cryptic old book in a mine chamber, and it hints at the existence of concealed chambers that have never been seen by any human before. This revelation further complicates my effort to locate my daughter and ensure her safety. I need to read this book. It might hold the answers I so desperately seek. Oh, poor John. Oh, I knew it! Oh. I usually hate cheap jump scares like that, but... 
it's kind of baiting me into not thinking they're gonna happen and then they do, which makes it work, so I can't be mad. Can we go through that way? Nope, don't have anything that we can use. We gotta find a couple more keys. And hopefully the, uh, the tunnels that we just read about and nobody's been through before. Wait, this is the other side of... Oh, no, wait. Is that the other side of where we were before? I think it might be. No key or anything. <laughs> oh, my God, what? Was that the creature? The beast? Okay, well, this is open now. That growl or whatever it was gave me chills. Alright, we got a key. I'm guessing that's to, yeah, Tunnel C. Okay. Odd markings. I stumbled upon peculiar ancient looking markings etched into the mine walls as I ventured closer to the site. The incidents of killings, collapses, and the bizarre appearances of miners are happening all around me. And I'm left perplexed about the origin and purpose. Poor John, he's re really going through it. It's like we're retracing his steps. Well, I guess we are, but... Not only has he got to worry about all this madness, he's also trying to find Emma, his daughter, who is probably the sacrifice that has been mentioned. And breathe. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sure you guys can hear this. My voice is gone. Like... I'm right at the end of it right now. It's only because <laughs> it's like the first time we've been in here doing this for a minute, so I'm sure I'll be fine. We're just gonna keep going, power through it. Oh my god, yep, that'll do it. My voice is gone. It's done. It's done. My voice is cooked. <laughs> just when I thought it couldn't get worse, it gets worse. Whoa. Have I gotta use this now? Why did it go so dark then? Rockwell Mine. Okay, so we're going to go this way because this has light. <laughs> and light is our friend right now. Oh, look at that down there. The flashing, though. Could do without that. Or the flickering, I guess. Don't do it, creepy little girl, please. Okay, let's switch to this for a little bit. That's just the generator in there, right? How do we get in there? Right, let's go this way. There was... Ooh. There was another way we could have gone, back where we came from. Oh, what just exploded? Oh, it was the cave-in, okay. So we heard the explosion and then... Cave-in was there. Now, usually when that happens, something changes. So, it's this way? Yeah. Okay, we've only got this way now. So, it's basically blasted the planks. I'm just saying, guys, with enough brute force <laughs> and persistence, I'd get through those planks. <laughs> I wouldn't have to be finding another way around. <laughs> Don't let your guard down. You know something bad's gonna happen. Just a tank. I thought something was just stood there with its arms up. Okay, let's turn that off for a second. Wait, can we turn that off and then... There we go. Oh, that's so much worse. Okay, back up. Okay, I just read that section so you didn't have to put it with the flicker in, but basically it's talking about a flooded section <laughs> down here. Oh! What? Serpent, right? I know what that's representing. Some of the jumps in this. Oh. I hope you guys are right here with me, by the way. 
<laughs> Perhaps the book itself was interred by long forgotten civilizations. Its secrets. <laughs> There's another explosion. Buried for eons, and yet our ceaseless excavation led us to this horrifying revelation. I bear a heavy burden, knowing that I must do everything within my power to thwart this demon's escape. I mean, you would be left with that, right? You would be left with the, uh, the decision to make. If you know this, this kind of information, you would, you would have to try and stop this thing getting out there. I mean, if you could do that. Is this the generator room that we saw way back when? Can we open any of this? Oh, that sounds like something's walking. Don't you do it. There's got to be a button that we have to press. On, off, water pump, off. Oh, on. There we go. Okay, so it's going to drain, drain the water, maybe? And then we can go through that flooded section. Oh, are these the water pumps? Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes, that makes way more sense. Okay. On the way in, I remember looking at that thinking, that's going to be some kind of pump as well. So there's one working, seems as though we got them turned on, and then... Turn this one on? I think we did it. Come on, drain away. Oh, there's a vibration. Oh, he's still there. It stopped me before. Oh, shit. No, we can go in. It just looked like we couldn't. Okay, yeah, no. Let's get that back on. What does that say? Blasting ahead. So this place is all rigged up then, ready to be blown to pieces. Yeah, moments of this. Oh, don't jump back up, please. <laughs> I keep switching between the two just to see if I can see like a silhouette of something, but moments of this are really, really good. Like, that was so cool. What does that say? A one-minute series of long blasts, five minute prior to blast signal. Okay, I'm not reading all that. Something's gonna creep up on me if I take long. Wait, are we going to set them off? The end, page four. As the truth crystallizes before me, I am overcome by a profound sense of dread. We have unwittingly triggered a ritual intended to summon the devil from this accursed place. The demon has manipulated us, turning our labor into a tool for its nefarious designs. Regretfully, this marks the only instance where a woman has ventured near the mine, and the responsibility of this calamity falls upon my shoulders. And it was his daughter, too. So what, we're gonna collapse the mine in? To stop the demon getting out? Seems like the only option, right? Come on. Now we know that thing went in the water, so brace. Oh, it's right up to like nose level two. <laughs> All that stank. Right up to your eyeballs. We're gonna... I'm gonna go straight over this time. I'm gonna leave that section for last. Oh, look at you. Look at him. Twitching. With his pickaxe in his hand too. He's gonna come sprinting straight for us. I know it. No. Please don't. <laughs> okay, there we go got some dynamite so I guess we're gonna have to wire this in then and then we're gonna hit the is that a plunger with dynamite <laughs> I'm not entirely sure so it's got to be down to the right here now I mean this is what you would have to do if you're armed with the knowledge of what you're unearthing here you have to do this so no one else suffers the same fate there we go Get over. I'm gonna call it a plunger. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but <laughs> I could be wrong. I 
thought I could hear something like whimpering. Back into the stank. Right up to your eyeballs. Ooh, that's horrible. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. The brain eating amoebas. <laughs> Just waiting in there. All right, let's do this. Seal this off. Are we getting out? Prolonged blast following the inspection. All right, we're going. We're going. I'm going to try and make it out. No. Nope. Yep, we can't go any further than this. So we're going to wait here. Basically, this is what's going to happen. A one-minute series of long blasts. Five minutes. Was that it? You know what this is going to be? We've just opened up an area where this creature has access to the outside world. There would have been something keeping it down here, and we've just set it free. Oh, we're just going to blast a massive hole into the earth. What's terrifying me here is I know I'm going to face to face with Emma Willis or the possessed version, I guess. And having to be chased around these tunnels with some creepy guy. Oh my! The explosion left the tunnels in ruins and I'm desperately trying to find a way out. It's dark and filled with dust. And the further I go, the more I start to see shadowy figures resembling humans. With each encounter, a growing rage wells up inside me and everything turns ominously dark. Noah. Was that Noah that we just ran into? Okay, let's switch back to that. There's nothing else that we can do here, right? Let's turn back. You're not down here, right, Emma? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's two ways. Let's go right. <sighs> come on. Come on. I can hear some weird noise over to the left here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Unusual geology. The rock... Oh, something has just appeared. Look at that. Something's just appeared behind the barrel. The rock formations deeper down are unlike anything we've encountered. It's unsettling and begs the question, what have we dug into? This wasn't on any survey map. I have never seen anything like this before. What's happening? Okay, brace guys. <laughs> okay, that was fine. <laughs> I can still hear some weird shit to my right though. It's like some kind of electrical interference. Okay, what was that? What was that thing? That was like some kind of reaper or something. Oh, come on, come on. I'm bracing so hard right now, you guys have no idea. Come on. Listen to that, that straight up sounds like death. What is that? Oh, I can see what this thing is here, though. This is the ritual. This has all been labeled, though, so they know it was here. Oh, they knew it was here. There's the book. Oh! I must acknowledge the grim reality. There is no salvation for her or myself. I must detonate the explosives, ending the torment of the deranged miners and sealing this malevolent force within. In doing so, I hope to prevent such a calamity from ever befalling others. Please, find it within yourself to forgive me for the sins I'm about to commit. Oh! What is that?! Do I go this way? Okay. <laughs> Is 
this thing just gonna follow me or something? I mean, once I go to this section... What's happening? Oh! I can't do anything. Oh, there's the dynamite. Okay, we've got it. There we go. Time to go! We're not gonna make it out, there's no way! Oh, no! <laughs> I can't see! There's no way we made it out. I honestly think we deserve to. <laughs> with what we had to put up with down there. And then we're going to turn to the right and there's going to be a miner right next to us. With a pickaxe ready to go. If a coal miner has a nightmare in his dream, he will not be afraid because he's living the worst of the nightmare in the real world. I'm immensely grateful to have been able to delve into the harrowing experiences of miners and veil the untold truth that had remained concealed from the public for so long. I believe I have played a role in granting these lost souls the peace they deserved. In honor of John Wilson's sacrifice and the profound impact he made, I'm committed to crafting a story that will ensure the world remembers the legacy he left behind and the ultimate sacrifice he made for us all. I couldn't read all of that in time. So there we have it then. I guess that was the descent. I really didn't expect too much going into this. I thought it was going to be some kind of like haunted mine, especially this section here. But it was definitely a lot more, or there was a lot more in there than I thought there was going to be. You can tell my voice, guys. I said it way back like an hour ago, <laughs> but my voice is just shot right now. But I did say, what better to jump into than some horror to clear the sinuses and it absolutely did that and my heart has been racing the entire time so if you guys do want to see more horror you know what to do drop a like on the video subscribe to keep up to date with everything and i'll see you guys in the next one